So um, it's been almost three months now since I did the last video, which was, I think, the um, festival festival shot, um, when that was just a whole other story. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry I haven't been on here for such a long time. I've been... Finding myself. Um, and by that, I just mean I've been on holiday and I've been working, so I really haven't done a lot. But I know some of you are thinking that I'm a bit of a traitor for not doing it for three months because you want constant content. But I have a theme tune now, so uh, that's good. So roll the theme tune. Yeah, Jacob's YouTube channel. Woohoo! Today I thought it'd be a really good idea because I saw a video on my friend's channel um, who's also at Bournemouth University, she does vlogging as well, and it's Ashley Lenz. You can go check her out if you want to. Ashley's gonna send me some money for shouting out her channel. She did a video basically about freshers and there's also there's been a lot of traffic which has been generated in the last like couple of weeks because this is the time where freshers are now starting to think about what's going to happen when they get to university. Being a fresher myself, having been a fresher, I thought I'd give my tips. Um, some of them you probably have heard, like a lot of these a lot of these tips were probably mentioned in her video as well if you want to check that out. Yeah, but these are basically just mine, just from my personal experience. So I have like 10 of them and I'll just like impart them onto you. The first thing I will say is that you're going into a whole new environment and you're getting new flatmates, um, which is always quite fun. It's a bit nerve-wracking at first because you kind of have to meet them. I remember when I first moved into my flat, um, a lot of us kind of didn't come out of our rooms for like a good six hours and then eventually one of them came out and we actually went uh, to the beach and just chilled and we actually kind of just, you know, grew like a relationship and it was really fun. And pr pretty much everyone, the people who go out with freshers are most usually your flatmates. So. Um, just be prepared that they will be the people you stick around with for um, the next two weeks or a week if you're at a different university, uh, the freshers only one week. Yeah, you must, rem you must remember that they are your friends for freshers, but they don't necessarily have to be your friends you know, throughout the entire year and you will find other people who are your friends. Uh, for example, for me, I had a social um, club that I had, so it meant that by a second week, I actually knew a lot more people, and I was able to go out with them. And then over the year, you know, could progress as you realise people aren't the same as you in terms of like what you do, and therefore your your flatmates kind of you know separate into their own different friend groups, and it's completely normal. Okay, the second thing is obviously the most recognised one, and that's obviously drinking. Um, the thing I would say is just pace yourself because you're going to be drinking a lot like the most you've ever drunk in like your entire life unless you're like a stone cold alcoholic. But So just for the sake of you know, your liver, um, just take the first two or three days, it's really simple. Cause you don't want to be that one person who just absolutely just rockets it the first two, three days and then realizes that they're not either ill or they're just done for the rest of the week. And especially for Bournemouth, we don't have a freshers week, we have a freshers fortnight, which is basically two weeks of just non-stop drinking. And that is, Disgusting! Like literally there's so many stories that I've been told about um, other people who have literally just shat in the street. If you're a girl or a boy, just don't do it. It's just not nice. You're going to get reputation for the rest of the year. The third bit of advice that I kind of impart to you about freshers is something that I didn't do. I know a lot of people didn't do it, but like it's a really good idea if you actually budget when you go out on a night. So either if you like, what's a really good idea is if you actually convert a lot of money that you have in your card into cash. So therefore you know how much money you're spending. Because the problem is, is that when you get drunk and you just want more alcohol, you, you just spend loads and spend loads and you just buy, and you buy friends drinks and it just, it becomes so expensive and you get a bit of a scare in the morning. I've said this in another video, but like, I just need to like reiterate it because it happens so often throughout the entire year and you're going to be broke by you know the second week. Okay, so Ashley mentioned this in her video, but I thought I'd mention it as well. Okay, I don't know if I have it at different universities, but at Bournemouth, a VK is like the most common drink. And they're like these disgusting, like sugary, cancer filled, like plastic bottles, which have this, like, not even alcohol, it's just like, it's like a J2O, a fizzy J2O. They've got these, like, J2O flavored, like, alcohol things, and they're, like, they're disgusting. Like, at the time, let's talk about this, at the time, they're, like, nice. And then, like, after, like, a few sips, it gets a bit sickening. And then, because you think it's alcohol, you just keep drinking them, and they're cheap, they're, like, what, one pound, two pounds? And you keep drinking them, and then you kind of realize, you know, you're just putting shit in your body. The worst part about VKs is that they just intensify the hangover by so much. 
because you're having so much sugar in your body, by the time you wake up in the morning, your mouth is dry, you feel disgusting, and it just it leaves such a bad taste in your mouth in the morning. So just don't get them if you if you're gonna get them, just don't. Just don't get them. Okay, this is a really, 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 really crucial one. Um, it's when you're uh, when you're looking through the Facebook pages of the freshers and what what parties to go to. Like, do not get conned into going to things which you know no one else is going to, and they just advertise them. Because a lot of what happened last year is that I spent a lot of money um, on tickets to freshers parties which are just dead. Um, the best thing to do is to look at your uh, your student union or the university, and they usually kind of say which um, club are run by the student union, so there's always going to be people going to them. Sometimes you can get wristbands, I know Bournemouth they have wristbands, you can get like a bronze, silver or gold uh, wristband, or you can get like an A-list card as well, which like gets you access to the front of the lines and stuff, which I had this year, which is really good. Um, yeah, I, like there's so many things, like I don't know if it was Zoo last year, there was just literally no one who turned up to it, so if they advertise for Zoo, don't go to it, alright, there's just no one there. Okay, number six is, I don't know if it it's for all universities, but Bournemouth specifically, if you're in a society like, I don't know, because I was in rowing, so it was, already, it was quite a social society, but if you're in football, rugby, um, softball, um, fucking Warhammer club, and you go out socially a lot, your freshers week will turn into a freshers year. And yeah, so just, just know that it's going to be a lot of drinking, it's going to be a lot of partying. Um, so just, just like mentally prepare yourself for the amount of alcohol you're going to put through your body. Like just think about how you're going to kill yourself through alcohol. Right, so the most common thing I think everyone knows about freshers is the freshers flu. Um, I thought it was like a little bit of a myth, obviously people get it, but I just didn't think that it was such a big thing. Turns out everyone seems to get freshers flu, and I don't know what it is, maybe people just going around with like illnesses or the amount of alcohol just like runs down your immune system, but freshers flu is something that you will 99% get at some point throughout the entire year. Because you're drinking so much, you're around other people, you're gonna get ill. And I remember, I think it was the end of first week, um, I was literally at my bed for two days and it wasn't fun. Um, but then after that you go and do it all again, so it's all good. It's all, see, it's a learning curve, you know? Obviously everyone's aware of this. Um, drugs in university is very common, and I did think it was very common, especially at a southern university, I don't know about northern universities, but especially at a coastal university, I know there's a big like drug thing going on at the university. Um, if you haven't been around drugs before, I would be a bit shocked because they're everywhere. I think drugs are actually more, drugs are just as common as if you go and find alcohol in a club in my opinion. But to be honest, it's completely up to you if you do take them or if you don't. Just know that if you do take them, you know, these things can you know, mess you up, long lasting side effects, uh, mentally and physically. So, you know, just because other people do it doesn't mean you have to do it. Um, obviously, yeah, there's the whole uni experience and, and go wild and all that, but like, just think about what you're doing before you do anything. This was a really good one mentioned by by Ashley in her video. Um, she says she basically she puts her key and ties around her laces and ties it up to make sure that you don't get your um, key lost. That's like a really good idea. And you can put it in your bra, you can put it in your pants, whatever. But I found that if you get like a little side bag or you, if you get like really tight pockets at university and you stuff the stuff that you need in clubs, you won't lose things. Just the final thing I'd say is just have fun. Fresh is going to be the thing that you remember for the rest of your life. What are you doing? What are you doing? Fresh is going to be the thing that you remember for the rest of your life. And it's definitely just have fun and just know that you're going to be around people 24 7. So if you do get lonely, then there was always people there. On the other hand, sometimes you do actually just, because you're with people for so long, you do just need to have your space sometimes. For me, like, I always found it really good to just during the day kind of zone out from people and just have like time to myself. Um, I know it's really bad but to say it, but I just wasn't homesick in the slightest because I was always being kept busy, whether by rowing or friends, but you know, there's things at home which will always, for example, this little thing, I always, I always miss him when I come home! <laughs> it's really annoying. Um, but yeah, that that's like my freshers advice to you. Um, don't go mental, but then do go mental if you know what I mean. Just like, do it responsibly. Um, so yeah, this is the start of like a whole new series of videos, so just get prepared. Hurry, 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 get to the camera, get to the camera. So be prepared for more videos. Remember to subscribe, like, and sh you know, share the video because some people actually need to know this information. Um, so yeah, do you want to say goodbye? Okay.